Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy and this is the third lesson in Introduction to ClickSense. So in this video, we're just gonna play around with the, uh, the default application that's built out and show you how the different filtering selection options that are available. Thank you. Okay, let's get started. So here we're gonna click done once we've created our dashboard. So some interesting things we can do. So for example, if you want to click on USDs, you'll see up here. Now it's showed you the, the green shows you the number of transactions that, that meet that criteria. In this case, it's a very small percentage, which is what you would expect. And then as well, you can see the top vendors. You can see all the different, uh, the spend over time across those different years. And if you want to clear it, you could, there's a couple ways you can do it. So you can clear it up here, right? Or you can clear it up here. And up here, you can actually modify it as you see fit. So if I wanted to go, for example, select all, and then I want to select everything but Canadian, I can see where are we spending uh, outside of, where, where are we spending outside of where we're not using Canadian. Here I can eliminate it and they'll bring me back to the original um, different options that are available. So you can here see revert back to what I had before. Uh, you can also use these uh, filter panels, which, um, uh, which I actually find super useful. So here I can click on uh, the count description see what vendors we're using you can see here we're actually using uh, quite a few different vendors you'll see this nice little scrolling option that shows you the preview of the data which i think is pretty good and you can see here over time where are we spending the different options that are available so here i'm going to clear the the filter and then here i can take a look at in this case i need to it's a little bit sensitive but here i can go for example policy planning and finance where are we spending our money? You can see we're spending some in USDs. Okay, what are we spending? Okay, so International Association and Hootsuite Media. Okay, that makes sense. Um, and that may, may, may or may not make sense. And here you can as well adjust your options as you see fit. We can also take a look at, for example here, you can click on the legend and they'll update the charts, which is a little bit different than some of the software. And you can see here, uh, where are we spending in 2013? Where are we spending? And then uh, it does like additive, so you don't need to press hold control or the command key. Uh, lots of different options. If, for example, I wanted to uh, look at, you can also do this last year if you wanted to. For It's not really that useful in this chart, but <laughs> if, uh, if, for example, I wanted to go down here and then use this lasso and look at some of these different areas, uh, that's actually pretty useful as well gives you different options uh, as as you see fit if for example I wanted to look at okay uh, look at these charts in more expanded view I can click on this corner and it'll expand the chart so I can take a look at more details and say like okay um, maybe this March 2011 is of particular interest uh, and then you can play around like that so lots of different options. Obviously, you can edit your chart, uh, edit your dashboard uh, as, as you see fit as well. Okay, I look forward to speaking to you in the next lesson. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to uh, write in the comment section below. And I look forward to answering any questions that you have. Thank you.